Okay, today we'll be opening up a couple of Fram's best made oil filters. The Fram Titanium Oil Filter, number FS10575, and the Fram Ultra Oil Filter, number XG10575. And I got this Fram Titanium Oil Filter at Advanced Auto Parts for $15.79. But I got this Fram Ultra Oil Filter for free. Yep, a generous viewer whose name is John Parada from Yonkers, New York, sent me this oil filter. Thanks, John. And these oil filters fit his 2018 Chevy Impala. Yep, the one with the 3.6 liter V6 engine. And these two oil filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. It's just a metal. You got a glue gun silicone. Be nice and tight. Get your hand in here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with the Fram Titanium and we'll check out the box here. Fram Power Flow Technology, Perfect Seal Gasket, Total Grip Surface, Metal Screen Back Synthetic Blend Media. We look over here and we'll see for particles greater than 20 microns. If you look on their website, that's 99% for particles greater than 20 microns. Okay, let's open her up. Also on the box, it says Made in the USA. Because on the filter it doesn't say anything. It doesn't say where it's made. Okay, and the date code, it's hard to read this date code. 821451. That's what it looks like to me anyways. Eight inlet holes, metal core with holes, bypass valve down below. And it's got a lot of grooves there, about four. And this is their perfect steel gasket, which looks like a nitro rubber gasket to me. Let's see. It's on the thin side also. But it's got this nice coating on it. Okay, look at the Fram Ultra. Also on the box, it says it's pretty much the same except for, um, you know, it's got the perfect seal gasket. No metal backing, though. And we also got the, right here, particles greater than 20 microns. And that's also 99%. Hey, let's open her up and see what she looks like. Okay, and this one, Made in USA. It says it right on here. This is also printed on. And the date code is also hard to read. But it looks like it's an A21581. Also, eight inlet holes. Metal core with holes. Bypass valve down below. And I think it's got the same amount of grooves also, about four. While editing the video, I noticed some debris in the threads. We'll check this out just a little farther into the video. Same gasket. Yeah. Base plates are a little bit different. The holes are a little bit different. Inlet holes. Okay, so let's, uh, let's cut these two filters open. And see what they look like inside. Okay, so while I was editing the video, I noticed a little piece of shaving, a little metal shaving. See right there? I'm gonna check it out and see if uh see if I can get it out. Okay, it's like stuck on there. Alright, I'll try it with my finger. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this open, uh, cut this filter open, and then I'll maybe get a better look at it from the other side. Okay, be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The Ultra weighs 271.8 grams. The Titanium weighs 323.4 grams. And the base plates, Ultra is 109.2 grams. The titanium is 109.4 grams. And let's take a look at the grooves that this guy has here. You can see there's little little bits in there. See that? Right there, someone. Now, I advise everyone, if whenever you get a filter, make sure you look inside these grooves. Yeah. 
I mean, these these things would probably just go in there, screw in there, and get squished in, probably. But I mean, you never know. You know, this is where the inlet, this is the outlet. I mean, and uh, you don't want pieces of metal in your going in your engine. Yeah, I I can't really. They look like they're inside there, but you can see something in there. See it? I don't want to spend too much time on this. This is gonna, you know, I'm trying to make these videos shorter, but I just want to show everybody this. Yeah, it looks like there's something in it. Compared to, let's compare it to this guy. This one looks cleaner. Get that focus good. Yeah, it's definitely cleaner. The titanium is cleaner. And okay, let's check out the gaskets. So the gaskets, I know the gaskets are the same. Just a different amount of paint on each one, but they're the same. Okay, and any drain back valves, same. There's for the Ultra, Titanium, they both fit the same. Okay, this is where they're quite a bit different. Filter medias. 83.4 grams for the Ultra. The titanium weighs 134.1 gram. Let's start with the titanium. You got a metal crimp seam. I counted 36 pleats. Metal end caps. And you can tell it's got a metal metal screen backing. This looks like heavy duty, heavy duty stuff. And the okay, and the filter media on this one says cellulose synthetic blend media. This is, I'm getting all this off of their website. It's 99% particles greater than 20 microns, which is slightly different than the Ultra. The Ultra here has a metal crimp seam, and uh, I counted. 48 pleats for the Ultra. And uh, the Ultra says dual layered synthetic blend media with a micron rating of 99% plus for particles greater than 20 microns. So you can tell there's no backing on this filter. I don't know what that is. Eh. I don't know, it could be just a sliver. When I was cutting the filter open, probably a sliver of paint. Okay. They both and got these combo bypass valves. And what's what's the way I know it's eleven point five grams. Let's get the weight of these cans. The ultra weighs sixty point nine grams. Titanium sixty one point eight grams. Get their thickness. 0.42 millimeters for the Ultra. And the titanium, I was getting 0.46. Okay, 0.47 millimeters. Pretty close. They feel about the same. Could be because it's got this texture on it. It's a little thicker. Not much, though. Curious to see what these filter medias look like under a microscope. All right, let me cut these filters open and uh, see what they look like. Here back. And I almost forgot to get their widths. So here's the Framp Titanium, 2.52 inches wide, and the Framp Ultra is 2.47 inches wide. You know, there's some filter media inside these. I can't really measure that I'm not gonna bother cutting these but you can just you know judge by yourself there's a little bit of there's a little bit of filter these guys these guys got big uh, end caps they got big lips on the end caps we'll see them when they cut open all right be right back okay and here are both filters stretched out and the Fram Ultra 
is 53 and a half inches long and the Fram titanium is 43 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness on these guys. Fram titanium is 1.28 millimeters thick. Pretty thick. Look at that. Thick filter media. And the Fram Ultra is 0.86 millimeters thick. Quite a bit thinner. Let's look at these guys up close. Got the Fram Ultra on the right, Fram Titanium on the left. You can see the thickness difference on these guys. Let's take a look at these guys under a microscope. Okay, so they look pretty similar under a microscope. I think it's because they got both got this synthetic material on top the, the frame titanium is you know I think it's a multi-layer filter and if you look at the frame ultra I mean you got this is like a cellulose backing right here and the filtering side is like a synthetic so you can see this see if I can split these apart so you can kind of see this fiber coming off. Yeah, so you got a lot more filter media with the Ultra, but the titanium is really thick. This is really thick stuff. And you also have the wire backing with the titanium filter. And this bends to any shape you want to put it in. Okay, so let's look at the rest of the filter here. And I forgot to mention earlier that these bypass valves have a setting of 16 to 28 PSI. Okay, and one other thing I want to check out is I want to check out these threads. Showing you guys this earlier. I'm going to try putting some tissue paper in here. And see if that cleans it out. Okay, let's look at this real quick. Yeah, it looks cleaner. Doesn't want to focus good, but yeah, there's still some in there, I think. Let's look at this stuff. Yeah, really can't feel anything. But um yeah. I'd advise everyone, when you guys buy your filters, check the threads on them. This one de definitely doesn't look too good. I would definitely clean this before I install this, this filter. I'd clean it out with something. And the rest of the filter is pretty much the same. These holes, the inlet holes, they're, they're pretty similar. And these guys weigh almost the same. It's like a teardrop, but these are... These are like an oval shaped almost. So, I don't know, there's not much, not much of a difference there. And these are the same. Like I said, the filtering, you know, there is some material in there. There's also glue in there, so how much more are you going to get out of there? I don't know. Sixteenth of an inch. And I was surprised to cut this filter open and find that it has a metal backing. I didn't know they still make these. I haven't opened a frame titanium for a long time, so I think I'll have to open a couple more and see if they're like this one. And again, I want to thank John for sending me this frame ultra filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays, I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The titanium filter media weighs 19.3 grams. The Fram Ultra media weighs 
19.1 grams. 